what were the highlights of the annual general meeting of uh, Transco today uh, and what key decisions or resolutions were made by the shareholders and the directors of the company? Today was our 17th annual general meeting and uh, I would say the meeting was in two parts. First is uh, shareholders commended the board and the management for a great job they've done the company. One of the shareholders, Dr. Farouk, <laughs> spoke about uh, uh, the company paying a uh, 500% increase in terms of dividend payment, and um, was also impressed that we're building to last. We're building Transcon, not uh, siphoning profits away, but making sure we reinvest and retain earnings. He reminded us that Warren Buffett says uh, that companies that retain earnings and their profit are companies he invests in. So he commended management and requested uh, the investing public to take advantage of the opportunities in Transcon to invest more. On the other part, we had some resolutions which were passed. The reappointment of all the board members, all board members due for retirement were all duly elected, re-elected. Also, the auditors re-elected, and most importantly, some business resolutions that will enable the company to do more, as we've already done, were also passed by shareholders. And it was a very, very good uh, annual general meeting. The, what are some of these key resolutions as far as the business operations itself is concerned as a group? Not just, you know, we like to capacitize and enable management to do what they do because we have implicit confidence in the management led by Dr. Owen Omogiafo. And uh, the resolution was give us the enablement in case we see opportunities in the marketplace to take advantage of this. And we have empowered the, the shareholders have today empowered the board and management to do so. 2022, uh, a very tough um, financial year, and I'm trying to find out how the virus business um, uh, groups like power, oil and gas, and, and hospitality and leisure were able to navigate the, the macroeconomic environment. No, the operating environment is tough, but you know, we, we thank God for the quality of leadership at Transco. You know, the group CEO and President Dr. Owen and team, uh, they've done very well in making sure that all the sectors were operating, the power sector, the hospitality sector, leisure, and even the oil and gas, the uh, upcoming sector that uh, we stay ahead. The hospitality business, Transco Hotel, Transco Hotel is the biggest uh, hotel brand in Africa, and they, they continue to maintain that lead. Owen, and uh, Dubai, Lushola, Dubai, the CEO of Transco Hotel, she's doing a great job. Uh, in there. And then uh, our CEOs are the uh, power businesses, they're doing very well. So the companies are doing well. In terms of uh, in our power business, we uh, have increased the generation significantly, helping to improve access to electricity in Nigeria. The Transco power really uh, generates about 600 megawatts of electricity every day. Our in capacity, in stock capacity is about 1,000 megawatts, and our generating capacity is over 700. The only reason we cannot even do 750 a day is because of uh, gas limitation. But we were integrating our energy play. Hopefully from our oil and gas plant, we'll be able to pipe gas to transfer power and then increase, because Nigerians need electricity, and that's what we commit to Nigerians. Transco is about improving lives and uh, transforming societies. We want to transform Nigerian society, and we know that power is critical for transformation of Nigeria, and that we're doing. And the hotel area, we're doing very well, recognized world over. And so I dove my heart for the team who are leading Transco. Interestingly, the CEO of Transco Hotel, PLC, is a woman. The group CEO of Transco, it's a woman. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, uh, Chris, who is driving our wheelie power plant, is doing a great job. Are you looking at taking Transco Power for listing on the Nigerian Exchange Limited <laughs> anytime soon? No, and I hear that rumor from time to time, especially after some other competing institutions were listed on the exchange. No, we are long term players. We want to grow more and significant value. We believe there are a few more things we need to do in the power sector so that that sector can actually grow some. The transmission line has to be fixed, and the, the, the gas supply has to be fixed. And then we believe that when we improve transform, uh, transmission lines and also address the gas supply issue, 
um, that would be the right time to do. That, so we're looking at five years from now. We're right. looking at about five years from now to lease transcop power because we believe that by five years' time, this transmission line would have been fixed and the gas supply to the power sector would have improved significantly. But, but there are always opportunities, if you see, as, as you look at what the government is doing. So if there are opportunities to take on more, would you be willing to take on more? Uh, opportunities and investments in the power sector or oil and gas, for example? No, no, definitely. You know, we, we have a track record. You know, my track record as Tony Elimele in Nigeria is my business turnaround track record. And they're also taking, creating opportunities for shareholders. So when we took over Transco, for instance, it was only Transco Hotel that existed, Transco Hotel and Abuja existed. Today, we're talking of uh, power plants with capacity of about 2,000 megawatts that Transco has invested in. So we know how to grow businesses, we know how to turn around businesses, and we know how to smell opportunities when they arise. So it's just starting, the journey is just starting. And that's why I'm happy that today, you know, a lot of more interest has been shown in Transco shares. So we're talking, talking about the shares in, increasing and all that, is it all about buying in of majority shares in, or big shares in, in Transco? We've seen, for example, on, on Tuesday, the market reopened for the week with more than a billion shares being traded in the market. The stock was up roughly 10%. So this buying interest, is it about what is in the news about uh, Femi Otedola coming as uh, a, a, a big player buyer of Transcorp shares? No, I think um, first, Femi Todala is my very good friend. <laughs> there are only two people I follow on the Instagram. My wife and Femi Todala. That tells you the level of friendship that we have. And it's a man you've I... Got to, you've got to follow Arise. Yeah. You've got to follow, you have to follow Arise News. <laughs> okay, I will consider that my team will advise. But it's a man I admire and I respect. And he's a friend. In fact, we actually call ourselves brothers. So there's... I wake up Femi's, I call him FO or OT dollar. <laughs> I wake up his investment in Transco. Yeah. That is what we want. I mean, come on. People get sentimental and emotional at times for no reason. But two of you are in the same similar no, business. No, He's no, into but, power business, you are into power business well, as let well. Me, what's wrong? There can be cross holdings. You know, abroad or even in Nigeria, yes. we go on international road shows. What do we do? We'll go talk to investors to say, please come and invest in our companies. I'm happy to see an indigenous active investor community. I want to see, and I'm happy that Femi is investing locally. And you should be commended for, 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 for that. And I'm, I also welcome his investment in Transco because the more people show interest in the activities, in the performance of the company, the more people invest in the company, the better for all shareholders. You know, you want to make your stock investors toast. And I am happy that uh, Transco is becoming investors toast. If you remember Bosin, about 10 years ago before we took over Transco, people were not interested in Transco, even people who owned shares. When I wanted to buy over Transco, People who own shares of Transco, they will find their certificate because they lost confidence in the company. Mm. Today, under our leadership, Transco has consistently, five years over now, paid dividend every year. It never happened in the company before. There's, there's market capital appreciation for the company. So when friends and investing public come to invest in companies like this, it's a validation. It's, it tells you that they believe in your story they believe in your vision, they believe in your management, they believe in your leadership, they believe in your competence. That is what has been demonstrated. And I like my friend to come on board. I like the fact that he's on board, and I look forward to working with him for to take transport to greater heights. If there are areas of collaboration, is that what you would like to see more in, in, in terms of working with other business interests in Nigeria and those who are big there? Because the power sector, as well as oil and gas, is huge, and the potentials in this sector still, we're just still scratching the surface. I think that the power sector is a gold mine, you know, and I'm happy that my friend who has invested in Transco also is in the power sector. But you know, we have over 300,000 shareholders in Transco, and 
5% investment in transcore, 6% investment in transcore, 20% investment in transcore, they all add up. What is important is that we have a strong leadership, we have a strong board, and I will continue to deliver on shareholders' expectations, on the public expectations, so that collectively we'll make up in a better place. We have a track record for this already, and that's what we do, and that's what we continue to do with you, Transcom. I'm interested in, in your business vision and strategy, and sometimes with all that you do, I'm trying to find, and we're doing this uh, interview in your library, and I begin to wonder what type of books do you read? <laughs> <laughs> when you hear, sometimes perhaps by yourself, uh, when, when Madame is upstairs, and, and I'm, I'm thinking, what do you read? How do you get the, the, the whole idea? The, the whole Africa capital, capitalism has been explained, but now the business environment is very competitive, and Nigeria is an emerging uh, uh, economy, so I'm beginning to see, as you see, uh, uh, the transformation within the Nigerian space, within Africa, and globally speaking, what is Tony Olimelu doing? What is he reading? Where is vision coming from moving forward? Mm -hmm. I, as you look around my library, as you rightly said, I like to read books <laughs> because I derive a lot of inspirations from reading, and especially autobiographies. There's nothing that's new in the world today, and there's nothing that I've not done before. So I like to read. I like to see how people handle issues and how they make progress. I watch movies like The Men Who Beat America, and that's one of the inspiration and motivation for our investment in the power sector. You can't develop Nigeria, transform Nigeria, transform Africa in the 21st century with strong investment in power. Access to electricity and power is the commencement, the beginning of prosperity, of eradication of poverty, of eradication of illiteracy, of fixing insecurity. And that's why our group today, we have over 2,000 megawatts generating capacity of electricity. The interest in Transco has not started. A lot more will happen. I read books like Jim Collins' books, Built to Last. Built to Last tells you about the fact that investing in investment and operating the corporate world is a long journey. It's a marathon. And that's what we do. That's what we do in our group. That is the whole essence and philosophy of Africa and ideology of Africa capitalism. We invest long term, not short term. We yeah. keep our eyes in the long range. And we have a track record for transforming businesses. And you also play chess. Yeah. That's a game of the rich and a very deep mind. <laughs> I don't think about the rich. My boys my boys play it, but I try to learn from them. <laughs> you know, so I bought this for them, but I they play this, I try to learn from them. Um, they are, they're, they're improving. They're teaching me about soccer. They're There's a whole lot of, it's strategy. a game of strategy, by the way. I think chess, that's what it is. That is it. You are a man of strategy. <laughs> Thank you. I feel flattered, but we think. Thank you. It's nice speaking with us here on Arise. Actually. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for speaking with us on Arise News. We appreciate it. And congratulations on the annual meetings as well. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.